and we're supposed to deliver this OSU build in five days. And as you can see, we've got a lot done. I either need it done or just don't touch it. We were planning on painting this roof like the Ohio State helmet. This is the biggest sub we've ever put in a golf cart ever. How, how much do we get when uh, other people want to buy them because of they see us? <laughs> I'm just literally scared to death because we're going to need at least a day to fully assemble this. This will be showroom. There's a perimeter around the entire building. So a couple weeks ago, we got a call from the baseball program at The Ohio State University. And they asked us if we could build them the coolest golf cart for their program on campus. However, their big recruiting weekend's coming up soon, and they wanted to use this golf cart for all baseball program needs, as far as like recruiting tours and all that. But the recruiting weekend is coming up very soon. We don't have much time to build the coolest freaking college golf cart on any campus in this country. We go pedal the metal, and we scramble as fast as we can to try to build them an amazing golf cart and deliver it by their deadline. Yeah, this is uh, the glass doors. Dad said they're going in today, so yeah. So this, this, that, all four of these will be glass from floor to ceiling. This will be showroom right here, and then there's a per then there's there's a perimeter around the entire building, and around the entire showroom. You could theoretically drive a circle inside the building of golf carts and walk around it and all that stuff too. There's gonna be a loft around the whole showroom as well. So yeah, I haven't spent much time in here. Dad has. I'm in charge of making the money. <laughs> He's worried about making this per building perfect. So, which is good. It's a good, happy mixture. So I just took the paint or, or uh, the bodies to Jeff, begging please him to get them done as fast as, fast as possible. Cause it's, what is it, Friday? Friday. And we're supposed to deliver this OSU build in five days, Thursday, which is awesome. And as you can see, We've got a lot done. No, we pretty much have just taken this cart down to the down to what you see right now. The painted stuff will go together pretty quick on this cart. I'm just literally scared to death. That hopefully Jeff, he always takes care of us, but I'm really worried that he can't get them done in time because we're gonna need at least a day to fully assemble this once you've got everything painted. A little bit of what we're doing, we're doing these rims. So I think those are gonna look amazing, mods. Uh, I think they're maulers. But a couple things that we're doing in, in extra, they don't even know they're getting yet, is we're putting the one of the best sound systems we've ever put in a golf cart ever. This is the biggest sub we've ever put in a golf cart ever. So that guy's gonna drop right in there and we've already tested it and it is insane. This is the best bass we've ever had in a golf cart ever. And then we're doing Hertz 900 watt amp that'll be mounted back there. And we're doing the four Hertz speakers as well. And then I'm gonna put LEDs on them. So, I mean, that's gonna have 24 inch strips everywhere. I'm not worried about what I can handle. I can get this all installed probably by the end of the day today. Again, I'm just scared to death because they have to have it Thursday and because they have to use it all day Friday and Saturday for the big recruiting weekend. And it's going to come down to Jeff. Whatever time he gets it done, <laughs> we're going to have to not sleep and try to assemble the cart and finish it and test the heck out of it. Um, I'm going to stop talking and get to work. <laughs> Jeff just called me. He's got the body, all the parts and everything painted. Normally we're, we're not on the uh, this tight of deadlines for stuff. <laughs> and normally for a high-end cart build like this with custom paint and all this stuff, Jeff usually has a few weeks to do it, not a few days. So what they wanted to do was the black OSU blackout design where it's like a 
candy red buckeye leaf, candy red stripe. You know, Ohio State puts the stickers on the helmet. Well, what they wanted to see if they could do that kind of that design, but like painted on stickers on the body, which if I didn't have Jeff that could paint this kind of stuff, I wouldn't have known what to tell them, but I knew Jeff could pull it off. <laughs> oh, that's freaking cool. Because the, the way base. I had to get the candy to lay, mm -hmm. the slightest, the slightest bit of change in how much you mm -hmm. put on or not mm -hmm. put on changes the color of candy. Mm -hmm. Dang, that stuff turned out really good too. That looks like freaking powder coat. Yeah, I love, I love the candy on the pipe. It's so cool. It looks awesome. That literally looks like powder coat. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. So here's the other part of my anxiety is we're, we were planning on painting this roof like the Ohio State helmet where it has a stripe. But of course, I gave Jeff so much time to do it. Yeah, you can push this one. <laughs> I mean, the most important thing is going to be able to see those lines be pretty up to like here and there, you know. The hardest part with doing it that way is you do, you'd have to do the candy red almost straight. That'd be super wide out here. Yeah. I trust you. I, I trust you. Thank you, Jeff. Seriously, man. Appreciate it. No, regardless, I can't worry about the roof right now. We just got to get this back to the shop. I got to finish the rest of a little bit of wiring. We got to start putting this thing together as fast and as well as possible. All the metal looks like, remember the candy red powder coat we put on Demon? That's what it looks like. It looks amazing. He's, he did a very good job. He's, he's got the roof still. He just now got the roof scuffed to paint the roof. I was like, look, I either need it done or just don't touch it. And he touched it, so he must, he, he knows the. Confident in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Delivering the house car today, and I'll probably be gone most of the day. So just text me. Call me though if you need me. He's got like glove boxes, camera, all all stuff that goes to the store. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Let's go strap this car down. Get them to you as fast as possible. See it in the sun. Yeah, make sure you flat with the. You know, if that's down more. Yeah. But you shouldn't be any down more. All right, Storm, put your hood up. Oh, Our newest employees, great. newest employees, making the first her first delivery today. That's Bucky Mints. Right here, so the whole time we're driving, they just shake like that the whole time. Is there that's room in the glove box for you? Hey, before I forget, um, Doug is buying the red Yamaha. Uh, okay, the one you've been the one you've been quoting out, right? Yes, yes. Uh, but he doesn't okay. need he does not need it delivered to Florida. He's not okay. he's not going now. So yeah, just wanted to leave. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Made you forget what you were going to say. Yes, converted. Matt, I just forwarded an email from Converted Carts. Matt is asking if we could overnight a set of glove boxes, which I know. Do we have any in stock right now to even send anybody? Yeah, we got like four, I think. Okay. And then email them and let them know. So then and did you drop the cart off yet? No, no, no we're on our way You're right still now. Still on your way. Oh, okay. Make I sure told... you come back with an autograph helmet for me. Well, no, Sean already told me we were gonna do. He's gonna give us free front row tickets, but we only ha we have just enough tickets except for you to go. I kick you in the nuts <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Ask me if I change, yo, it's not 
How we doing? Oh yeah, sweet. isn't it? Hey, no, hey, Sloan, nice yeah, flight to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you nice guys. Meet you. Sloan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's all, yeah, that's actually all paint. So Jeff, our painter that did all that, he, I mean, I was, when we were talking about the helmet design and stuff like that, I said, hey, it's just kind of hard to tell if it's not really bright light, but it is, it is a, it is a okay, sticker, yeah, it is. but it is, okay, and it's, that's all paint. And the snow stickers. No way. So that's all paint. Yep. So that was plan B. I took Jeff all of our stuff and was like, hey, the body has to be done like tomorrow now. But if you can't get if you don't have time to do it, that save the roof. And then he he finished it last night really late. And then we got it on. So that that helped add a lot to it too. But yeah, you can kind of see a little more here. And so you have to take all these off. Oh everything. What we did for the audio and all that stuff is this is the biggest sub we've ever been able to put in a golf cart because this front sp spot has nothing in it. That's all a sub enclosure. No so that is a 12 WO JL sub that's firing down. But then back here, so that's our power plate. That's just a bolt-on panel. All the wiring is inside of a uh, marine grade box under this under this metal. And then that's your fuse panel for your everything we put on the cart. Do. You can set the LEDs to be a certain color because it has underglows. Right now they're red. And another way you can set the LEDs, if you tap that controller, okay. that changes the underglows as well. But the app, you can set them to what you want. Right now they're just set to be red when you turn them on. There's the boss man. <laughs> they play some tunes. I might downgrade my truck. Awesome. All righty, guys. Thank seriously. You. Thank awesome. you, guys. Thank seriously. You guys. Thank that. you so much. Yeah. Call me. Sean's got my number. So yeah. if you guys got questions while you're using it and stuff, just ask me. Yeah. So. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Yep. yep. <laughs> So it's not every day that you get to do business with such a reputable, reputable, reputable program and college like The Ohio State University. And the fact that we got to do what we love and what we do for a living and build really cool golf carts, is just really special, it's really cool. It was kind of stressful, it was definitely stressful trying to do so much in such a little amount of time. They didn't give us that bad of a deadline, but we wanted to over deliver. Not to mention, I want to sell a lot more golf carts to Ohio State because my wife went here and we're still paying a lot of money every month for her loans for the school. So I need some of their money. If you want to see pictures of this golf cart and see more details, go to our website, bacarts.com. The, all the pictures and details are going to be listed in our golf cart gallery. If you'd like to see more videos like this of us building golf carts, then subscribe to our channel. But with all of that being said, thank you Ohio State for choosing BA Carts. When you are the best and you want to recruit the best and you got to show those recruits that you are the best and you call the best, well, we had to step our game up and make sure we were going to deliver on our name. Thanks for watching and go Buckeyes. Thank you.